beautiful question one of my favorite questions fine one of my favorite questions because it looks like there's no approach to do this fine. so you need to use a little bit of uh, street smarts a little bit of uh, textbook methods understand some algebra and then unravel this fine. so x square plus y square equal to 0025 how are we going to even verify this how am i going to find out whether there are possible integer solutions to this and so how are we going to figure that out how is that going to happen 2025 is 45 square which is useful and we know that is useful 2025 is 45 square it is very nice to see if we can factorize this 2025 is 45 square my mind once i knew that 2025 is 45 square i've already done this question this can work why so because this number is 45 square 45 is 5 into 9 this number is a multiple of 5 square and so i already know that something square plus something square equals 5 square i know that it's a very famous pythagorean triplet i know that 3 square plus 4 square is equal to 5 square therefore i know that 6 square plus 8 square equal to 10 square i know that 9 square plus 12 square equals 15 square this is 45 square 27 square plus 36 square should be equal to 45 square i already know straight away that this appears to be possible i'm not happy i'm not going to stop with that i'm not going to say hey done i don't need to look any further i'll have to carve open the other things as well x square plus y square is 2023 2023 is that possible can that happen x y into x minus y is 2021 x square minus y square is 2022 but i i know that the first one is possible i want to see if by some some chance something else is possible in which case i have to revisit the first one maybe i have done some mistake or i want to prove that the others are not possible when i look at this 2023 and 2021 are weird numbers and there is a x square plus y square which i can't factorize really but then x square minus y square here straight away i'm thinking this fellow i can just factorize and get it done right so this is x plus y into x minus y which is 2022 that means if i break 2022 in two parts put one of them as x plus y put one of them as x minus y i should be able to solve it and get x and y why is it not happening and so 2022 is 20 into 1011 in 1011 is a multiple of 3 3 into 3 3 7 so it could be 2 into 1011 3 into 774 6 into 337 i can write in all these forms x plus y into x minus y which means i should be able to solve and get except it's not possible because if i put this as 1011 this is 2 if i put this as 2022 this is 1 if i put this as 337 this is 6 what beautifully happens very very interesting idea i have an odd number and an even number even number and an odd number odd number and even number 2022 is a multiple of 2 but not a multiple of 4 so 2022 if i factorize it i cannot write it as a product of two odd numbers i cannot write it as a product of two even numbers it will have to be one odd number into one even number one of the two numbers has to be even and only one of the two numbers can be even which is a problem because if you think about it if sum of two numbers is odd sum of two natural numbers is odd then one of them has to be odd other has to be even sum of two natural numbers is odd one of them has to be odd other has to be even that means the difference also has to be odd i cannot have a mechanism where sum of two natural numbers is odd and their difference is even the difference between two natural numbers is even either both are odd or both are even if the difference is even sum should also be even if the sum is even difference should also be even if sum of two natural numbers is odd difference should also be odd if sum of two natural numbers is even difference should also be even so if i have x square minus y square this can be equal to an x square minus y square can be equal to an odd number x plus y x minus y both are odd that's possible it can be equal to an even number in which case the even number should be a multiple of four both parts x plus y and x minus y should be even i cannot have x square minus y square equal to an even number that contains only a two not a not a four 
therefore this is not possible so most the, by far the most tempting choice so look at this and say look i can write this x plus y and x minus y i'm through right and then i can simplify no except we are not through we solved x plus y equal to 1011 x minus y equal to 2 then 2x will be 1013 x will be 1013 by 2 that's no longer an integer no longer a natural number question to see this is positive integer solutions doesn't work okay super so this doesn't work these two i still have to worry about fine x y into x minus y is 2 0 2 1 2 0 2 1 is one of those annoying numbers right so not not a multiple of 2 not a multiple of 3 not a multiple of 5 not a multiple of 7 21 is a multiple of 7 2000 is not a multiple of 7 not a multiple of 11 i'll have to check for 13 17 19 all of that except i can think of this as 2025 minus 4, 45 square minus 2 square, 45 plus 2 into 45 minus 2. So this can be written as 47 into 43 or 2021 into 1. One of these two has to be this. If I put x into y is 47, x and y can be only 1 and 47, x minus y cannot be 43. Out. If I put x into y is 2021. Then I have 47 into 43 or 2021 into 1. X minus y doesn't work. Therefore, this there are no solution. This there are no solution. This there is a solution. And so I've kind of gotten to the idea that the first one stands out. I'm very happy. It is just 3, 4, 5 into something. I'm super happy with that because I understand Pythagorean interplets. So this is good. I've kind of established that this is not possible at all. This is not possible at all. Two things have gone my way. Now let me see if I can prove that this is not possible at all. X square plus Y square equals 2023. It's tricky. Right? So I'm going to use any perfect square. Divided by 4. The reminder will be either 0 or 1. Any perfect square divided by 4. The reminder will be either 0 or 1. The reminder cannot be 2 or 3. Why can it not be 2? If, if divide the number by 4, if it's a multiple of, if it's the remainder is 2, then that means the number has a 2 in it, but only one 2 in it. A perfect square cannot have only one 2. That's all. Uh, so it cannot, the remainder cannot be 2. The remainder cannot be 3 either. Perfect square and divided by 4, remainder are either 0 or 1. If you know that, then it's super easy to simplify. Why? Because I have two perfect squares. They could either have remainder of 0 and 0. 0 and 1 or 1 and 1. 1 and 0, again, not worrying about the order. If it is 0 plus 0, remainder will be 0. 0 plus 1, remainder will be 1. 1 plus 1, remainder will be 2. 2, 0, 2, 3 divided by 4, remainder is 3. That cannot be sum of two perfect squares. You can rule that out. That is the more rigorous way of establishing that, hey, this is not possible. These two are easily established that these two are not possible. This is definitely possible. Again, from an exam point of view or a solving point of view, you can just sense that 2025 is a perfect square. It's a multiple of 5 whole square. It is 45 square or 9 square into 5 square. 3, 4, 5 is a Pythagorean triplet. 3 into 9, 4 into 9, 5 into 9 will also be a Pythagorean triplet. And I've got one solution. All I need to do is that that does have some integer solutions. I'm through. And then I've established that these three do not have integer solutions. Check it later, figure out so you can